Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 273. Right-Sided Heart Failure. Why does hepatomegaly, also known as the nutmeg liver, happen in right-sided heart failure? The reason for this to happen is because there is an increase in the central venous pressure. This leads to an increase in resistance to the portal flow and so this means that due to right-sided heart failure, the blood has backed up into the liver and therefore it will cause the hepatomegaly. Why does peripheral edema happen due to right-sided heart failure? The reason for this is there is an increase in the venous pressure. This causes all the blood to back up and because of all the blood being backed up, the flow is not able to move forward and when this happens, there would be fluid transudation and this is why it leads to peripheral edema. Why does jugular venous distension also happen in right-sided heart failure? Again, it's because of the same reason, there being an increase in venous pressure, this leads to jugular venous distension. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.